Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. A few months back, we released the SparkFun Quick Quad Solid State Relay. Now, relays are an easy to operate, fast and simple way to control high voltage with a low voltage signal. And depending on your application, solid state relays have some clear advantages over electromechanical ones. And that's why we've decided to put a pair of them on the new SparkFun Quick Dual Solid State Relay. But this board is more than just a pair of pretty relays. Come on, let's take a closer look. This board features two solid state relays, each with a maximum current of 25 amps at 250 volts AC. And these relays use the zero cross trigger method so you can toggle two loads on a 60 hertz AC carrier signal up to 120 times per second. The board also hosts an ATtiny84A to allow you to send commands to the board over I2C. And since the I2C address of the Tiny84A is software configurable, you can string multiple relay boards together. And by multiple, I mean up there in the neighborhood of 100 or so. The board has an operating voltage of 2.5 to 3.6 volts, with a recommended voltage of 3.3 volts, which isn't an issue if you're connecting via quick connectors. On the high side, the load voltage range is 12 to 280 volts AC. Now I mentioned a max current of 25 amps, but if you're up in that range, you'll need to make sure you're using forced air cooling, as simple convection cooling won't be enough at that load. You'll need to be aware too that this is a normally open circuit only, so plan your projects accordingly. Now before I talked about the potential advantages of using a solid state relay in an application. Solid state relays, as the name implies, have no moving parts, and that makes them perfect in volatile environments where the spark from an electromechanical relay could be a combustion danger. And with no moving parts, but rather by using a MOSFET or an opto-isolator to toggle the load on and off, no moving parts, less wear, longer lifespan. Now, working with a relay like this can have inherent dangers. And while we've included a lot of safety precautions on the PCB, including ground isolation between the relay and other circuitry, and a milled out area isolating each side of the AC, if you're not comfortable messing with that kind of potentially lethal voltage, our IoT power relay is a great option. One of the really great things about our quick relay library for Arduino is the fact that it works with all of our quick relay boards. Just make sure you're using the proper I2C address, and then it's as simple as sending commands like turn relay on, turn relay off, or toggle relay. Add a sensor or other input and feel the power and majesty of the solid state relay. It's just that simple. So if you need to control high voltage loads with a low voltage signal, even in volatile environments, head over to sparkfun.com and pick up your SparkFun quick dual solid state relay today. And as always, stay safe, be kind, happy hacking, and stay awesome. over electromechanical ones. And that's why we've, uh, so close. Relays are a... Uh... A few months back, we released the SparkFun Quick Quad Solid State Relay. <laughs> I was about to say the name. I was that close to saying the name. <laughs>